Nope, nope, nope. We aren't playing that intro. Not for this. Especially seeing as how this is a show I have been following for quite a while now. This isn't related to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, if you have not read the title yet. But this is relating to another show that I have been watching since... I guess you could say 2015. The first time the show came out, the initial episode was kind of iffy. But had I known that the show would actually get better and better with some of the future episodes, I would have stuck on. But thankfully in 2015, I decided to give Steven Universe a second chance, and we're here, and we're with the... TV movie, Steven Universe, the movie. It might not be a farewell to the show itself, but it shows that this series will grow massively. Other than another show that's been on Cartoon Network that's in flux the network for quite a long time. But I'm not going to name it here, because even if I do say it, or don't, you already know what it is. And... What do I think of this massively well-hyped movie based on a series that has a big fan base? Well, it takes place two years after the events that have transpired in Season 5 of Steven Universe. The gems are no longer at war and the world seems to be living peacefully until a mysterious gem, whom kind of looks like... Um, XJ9 or Jenny from My Life as a Teenage Robot basically comes out of the sky and slices up our gems. You all know their names Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl. So Spinel slices those three down and essentially cuts into Steven, but he doesn't vanish that well because he is half diamond, half human which sort of kind of makes him immune. But he winds up fully shutting her down, and he finds out that the entire diamonds have been factory reset. So they have no clue on who Steven is, and it's kind of up to our lead to figure out how are they going to fix the memories of our characters here, and even for that matter, that mysterious transportation that popped out of the sky that Spinell was on, what is the goal of it? Only one way to find out, but I'm not going to spoil it here. So, Steven Universe has been a particularly interesting series for me. As I've stated before, while I didn't fully watch the entire series at first when the whole series came out, I mean, back then my policy was just one episode and done. Which kind of worked for the most part, but as of recent times, I've bumped it up to four. But with that said, even if I didn't fully watch the show when it first came out, at least I followed it as, a, non, as a, a certain video popped up online and particularly piqued more my interest into Steven Universe itself and got me more invested and even more friends that are into this show and have the same common interest, like a, another show that I am quite familiar with. But anyways, Steven Universe the movie. I think what really is the highlight of it is the songs. The songs are pretty much one of the biggest highlights of Steven Universe there is. Steven Universe has been known to have some really good songs in their show. Some of them are like upbeat, really catchy songs about being strong and who you are, some of them emotional, dramatic. It's really one of the biggest, best things that Steven Universe has to offer. The songs, absolutely love it. The cast, it's the same from the show. And admittedly, 
I kind of love the antagonist. Kind of despite the fact that she does look like XJ9 from My Life as a Teenage Robot, but either way, what do I overall think of the movie? It's good if you're a Steven Universe fan. I mean, if you caught up all the way up to the latest season there is, it does take place, as I've said before, it takes place two years after the events that have transpired in Season 5 of Steven Universe. Mm -hmm. So, you're a fan of the show, you'll like it. However, for the standalone people, I'd say it's best if you at least watch some of the episodes. There are, like, little catch-up videos or whatever that recap each of the seasons, but if you fully want to see these episodes and the strong emotional character development in the show, I suggest watching the entire series from the very, very beginning. But will this be something that I may watch if Cartoon Network will ever air this again or anything like that? Kind of depends on how the schedule is like and how much they put into their time slot. I mean, they added, like, an ad-free premiere to this movie. And this is just... This movie just dropped, like I said. I'm still trying to calculate everything. Would it be something that I will have on this shelf here for me to watch? So if I feel up to watching a movie or two, I just pull that out and pop it into the PlayStation? Depends. It really all comes down to the mind of, am I up for adding it to my library? It really is. But I had a fun time with Steven Universe. Some um, good, uh, modestly good story, while it seems a little cliche. We have some great songs. Um, the same cast returns, along with a couple of new friends that come into the picture. But... Overall, this is an amazing, amazing film. At least Cartoon Network standards. But I will definitely find myself re-watching Steven Universe the movie sometime in the future if I ever do decide to re-watch the show again. So, Steven Universe the movie. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, comment below. Let me know. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, Definitely check out my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I also do little movie reviews. I'm in the middle of my marathon at this moment that I'm trying to get to work on. But whatever your thoughts are, just leave them below and I'll see you guys for the newest sets of videos that I do decide to create. So, I guess with that said, since this does counter the movie, I'm the Fog Guy and I'll see you guys for the next movie.